Hey beautiful people, I hope you're having an awesome day. Are you feeling exhausted? Are you feeling tired? Are you feeling a bit flat? Uh, of course, we can all run into this at times in our life, particularly if you've got a lot going on. Uh, perhaps you've just moved or perhaps you've started a new job or a new relationship or any of those things. Whenever we're experiencing changes in life, um, we can definitely start to feel um, a little bit physically stressed or a little bit ch um, challenged, even if it's a good change as well. Hey Carly, hey Chris, hey Katrina, great to have you all on. And uh, one of the things that really, really impacts the energy that we get to feel each day is where we are directing our thoughts. This can be one of those challenging things where it's like, ah, oh, but my thoughts just keep jumping into my head. Now, um, one of the things, hey Christy, great to have you on, Del. One of the things is that each thought that you have will definitely generate a similar type of thought. So if you are having more positive thoughts, well then you're going to keep looking for or keep focusing on more of the positive things. Hey Bridgie, hey Dee, great to have you guys on. And if you're in a, a more of a negative mood or feeling slightly pessimistic or perhaps really, really challenged around something, then your focus is definitely going to be more on the negative stuff. Now every single time you're thinking of something negative, that is a withdraw from your energy bank account. We wake up every single day if we, for example, we have a hundred units of energy uh, and Bruce Lipton talks about this a lot as well, which um, pretty much like I was watching a video last night <laughs> and I love the analogy that he used around this because it's kind of like, it's just like money. Like are you either depositing things that are going to uplift you, that are going to fulfill you, that are going to have you feeling great? Are you depositing into your energy bank account each day with positive thoughts, with encouraging, supportive thoughts for yourself? Or are you withdrawing with negative comments, with negative criticisms, with berating yourself, with criticizing yourself, with not celebrating the small steps that you're taking forward every single day? Hey, Ben, great to have you on. Um, so this is really, really, really important. If you're feeling physically exhausted, we're creating so much resistance. We're withdrawing or perhaps even overdrawing the bank account. So taking some time maybe just to sit down. I love to do this exercise and I do this quite regularly. Um, when I say regularly, you know, maybe once a month, um, just in my journaling occasionally, it's like, what is draining my energy? And I think about things like environment, my thoughts, what I'm focusing on every day, um, the people that I spend time with, um, any of those things, um, different activities that I might be doing or things that I feel like I have to, I need to, or I should, which again, like is a lot of our focus energy and where our thoughts are kind of going, oh my God, I have to get this done, I have to get that done, that immediately creates a sense of resistance, it creates um, a sense of that push energy. Hey Kay, great to have you on sweet. Um, as opposed to coming back to, oh my God, I'm so excited that I get to, that I choose to. Anytime where we feel like there's no choice, then that again is going to take away our energy. It's going to feel like a draining thing, even though it might be something that you're actually really wanting to do. So um, this is just a great check-in point with yourself. You know, um, even just saying, is this loving to me? Is this going to add to my bank account, my energy bank account today? Or am I actually withdrawing from that bank account? with these particular thoughts and if it's not a thought that you want um, then ask yourself what is it that I want instead wherever your focus goes is where your energy flows uh, as the great Tony Robbins uh, always says and I love that because it's so true so true and so you can um, always be kind of kind of putting extra in the bank account each day so you can wake up and feel good and feel in love with yourself uh, not obviously from an ego point of view but just genuinely loving and caring about who you are when we're coming from that place then you'll be acting from more from inspiration more from feeling called and um, choosing to do the things that you're wanting to do as opposed to what's draining me what's taking away my energy another thing that you can do with that activity that I mentioned before so what is draining you energetically as opposed to um, what is maintaining your energy and then what actually um, increases your energy as well. When you can identify those things and you're doing less of the things obviously that drain you and more of the things that either maintain your energy or increase your energy, then you know that you're gonna have plenty left in the bank account each day. Have an amazing day, guys. Um, 
If there's anything that you're curious about or you're wanting to find more out about or something perhaps that you've uh, felt personally challenged with or that you struggle with, please let me know. Either send me a PM or comment below and I'm more than happy to do a quick video on that uh, tomorrow or the coming days as well. Hey Amanda, great to have you on. Hey Cheryl, if you've just jumped on, maybe jump back to the start and um, have a quick listen as to how you can deposit more into your energy bank account each day. And if this resonated with you, please like, love or share uh, with anybody that you think that this could really help as well uh, all about spreading the inspiration and uh, just you know we all need those reminders occasionally myself included <laughs> so lots of love lots of gratitude thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later bye